Well, tonight, Mayor Michael Hancock talks to us about facing a challenger to keeping his job. As we first reported last night at 10, Penfield Tate, a former state lawmaker and Democratic analyst for both public, make that Colorado Public Television and CBS4, will be running against him. Our political specialist, Sean Boyd, interviewed Tate yesterday. And Sean, sounds like he's already bought ad time. Yeah, Jim, he will air an ad during tonight's Broncos game. Tate is the sixth and most prominent challenger to the mayor, and he came out swinging, calling into question not only Hancock's management, but his morality. And today, the mayor shot back. Bring it on. Mayor Michael Hancock downplayed his growing list of challengers. It doesn't surprise me at all that people want to, to be mayor. It's a great city. It's a wonderful city, and uh, this is a great job. Hancock defended his record on everything from improving education to battling crime and increasing affordable housing. I'm excited to put our record out there. I know that we have made an unprecedented uh, commitment to affordable housing, uh, which is not a t traditional municipal function, to be quite honest with you. People constantly talk about the fact that development in their neighborhood is displacing longtime residents, is driving gentrifications. Penfield Tate says homelessness, crime and traffic are worse, not better under Hancock. You've got to have a plan for growth and you have to manage it. And I and people around the city don't feel we've planned for it or managed it well. He says sexual misconduct by the mayor also hasn't been managed well. Hancock admitted to sending a female officer on his security detail inappropriate text messages, but city council refused to investigate. Hancock's campaign manager says the mayor has been open and honest about what he did, and he has apologized repeatedly and profusely. But Tate says sexual misconduct should be investigated in all cases, from judges to mayors. You can't say one is wrong, don't put them on the bench, and say the other is okay because there's been a public apology. Hancock's campaign said only they won't dignify the attack with a response. For all the things that people are going to be talking about, I'm excited to take it to the people of Denver. Now, the mayor's campaign scolded Tate for going negative right out of the gate. The election is not until next year, May. For now, Hancock says he is only focused on campaigning against a ballot measure that would increase setbacks for oil and gas drilling, calling it a job killer. Tate has not taken a position on that controversial measure. We're live in Denver. Sean Boyd covering Colorado First. Thank you, Sean.